The big story this weekend here in Minnesota is the blizzard, but there is also some big political news. Delegates at two congressional conventions chose candidates that will challenge two Republican incumbents this fall. These are races that will attract national attention as Democrats fight to take back the U.S. House of Representatives. Here's Esme Murphy with tonight's Talking Points. Four of eight Minnesota's eight congressional races are ranked as toss-ups by national analysts. And this weekend, two of the four races were finalized in terms of who will be the Democratic challenger. In Minnesota's second congressional district, Democrats chose business executive Angie Craig. That sets up a rematch of the 2016 race between Craig and then-candidate Jason Lewis. The 2016 Lewis victory was widely seen as an upset. In the third congressional district, Democrats chose Dean Phil Phillips, a businessman, philanthropist, and heir to the Phillips liquor fortune. Phillips will be challenging incumbent Congressman Eric Paulson, who has easily won re-election since he first ran in 2008. Both seats are considered key targets for Democrats, who nationally are feeling energized in the aftermath of the announced retirement by House Speaker Paul Ryan. Minneapolis Congressman Keith Ellison is the deputy chair of the Democratic National Committee and is working on trying to make sure Democrats do take back the House in November. The majority in the U.S. House, uh, the road to there goes through Minnesota. We got two seats to protect and we have uh, two seats to pick up. The math may be stacked, though, against Democrats. They would have to win 24 seats in the midterm elections to regain control of the U.S. House. Esme Murphy, WCCO, 4 News.